Hello and welcome to Maester Reviews. I'll just get that background on there for a second. There we go. <laughs> um, today is my review of Lightyear. Now, it's a very difficult one to talk about if you ask me because, in my opinion, a Buzz Lightyear film should be two hours of the first 10 minutes of Toy Story 2. Needless to say, by the tone of my voice, that is not what we got. <laughs> Um, we got something entirely different, almost like a Christopher Nolan-esque interstellar style story. And something that I think gelled well for Pixar, but not for Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear as a property needs to sort of maintain its core nature of what it should be. Which is sort of, a, sort of not swashbuckling, but you know what I mean, sort of space ranger adventure. With Star Command, not to be honest, a downright depressing story of people being stuck on a planet and trying to find their way home, with very few elements shown up. That's fan service for what a Buzz Lightyear film should be. I think this would have worked so much more if Buzz Lightyear was stripped from the picture and it just stood as a standalone space Pixar film. It's his identity crisis that's his biggest problem. And it's kind of tanked at the box office. I think because of that sort of um, children appeal, I think I'm not the only one who's caught on to that. And I will give it its merits. It is Pixar being Pixar, arguably at their finest quality. But it's that identity crisis that ultimately makes the movie succeed and fail for me on both levels. So yeah, that is... Um, that is my brief review of Lightyear, and I'll see you next time on Mr. Reviews.